Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you guys are. So, guys, um, Demetrius Andrade still seems fixated on fighting um, Jamal Charlo. Now, this is a fight that I've been clamoring for for God knows how long. And I don't know whether I don't know whether some of the, you know, the fans from that, you know, want to see these guys fight Canelo. Um, maybe you're not for this fight because one of one of these guys will lose when they fight each other, if they fight each other, which I don't think is going to happen. And I actually think they'd rather see them fight them fight Canelo than fight each other. I, I, I you know, I've, I've, I've spoken, argued and debated with so many people. And it staggers me how many people don't actually want to see Charlo and Andre fight each other. And they rather criticize Canelo rather than criticize these two, or especially um, Charlo, who, who's clearly avoided Andre, you know, in the last couple of years. I think it's quite clear to see. Um, this is a fight that should have happened a long time ago. Uh, why this fight hasn't happened is staggering. It's staggering to me. I mean, I, I think it's one of the best fights that could be made. Uh, in boxing and and look Andre to be fair to credit to him he's wanted this fight he's called out Charlo Charlo doesn't Charlo doesn't want to know I mean he comes out Charlo he comes out bizarrely calls out Bivol tells Bivol I'll, I'll do this I'll do that I mean but there's a realistic fight that could be made with with a guy that's a similar your size I mean Demetrius Andre moved up from a 154 he's not he's not a big uh, he's not a big middleweight, you know, and Andrade's not, I mean, Andrade's not a big middleweight. Andrade and Charlo both are guys that have moved up. They're not huge guys. So that fight makes a lot of sense rather than going out and calling out a legitimate light heavyweight and saying, I'd beat you. I mean, all of that rubbish. I mean, he came on, on cam, uh, camera not long ago, like maybe a couple of months ago saying that I'd fight Andrade, this, that, the other, but Charlo's career, you look, I'm not hating on Charlo. I'm just telling you guys how it is. Charlo, I mean, his career for me is is like yeah, he's he's probably rich, he's made a lot of money, but at the end of the day, we as fans don't care about what they pocket and what money they've got and what cars they drive and what has. We want to see them fight. That's why we're fans. Um, and for me, unfortunately, and Andre and and Charlo, um, Charlo especially. I mean, Charlo's been on the on the on the back burner somewhere. I don't know what Charlo's been up to. He's been so inactive. I mean, it's it's criminal for guys of that kind of talent, that ability, just to be wasting away. You know, we, we want to see as fans, we want to see these guys fight. We want to see these guys in the ring. Um, and unfortunately, we just don't get it with the we don't just, we don't get these guys in a ring uh, uh, as often as we want to see them. You know, we want to see top guys fight. And unfortunately, we don't see these guys fight that often. Um, it's disappointing to say the least, to be honest with you guys, it is disappointing. I mean, um, I expected, I honestly expected a lot more from Charlo. I used to like both Charlos. I still like Jamel, uh, but I've kind of gone off Jamal because he's been so inactive. And, and for me, a lot of the stuff he's done on camera is just kind of like, he's, he's put me off, like calling out Bivol when just doing stuff when he doesn't really mean it, in my opinion, saying that I'll not Bivol out and, you know, people don't even believe him. They don't even believe, like, even his own African-American fans, like, probably look at that and laugh. His own Jam hardcore Jamal Charlo fans probably don't buy that. I mean, it's, the guy is so inactive. He hasn't fought for so long. Andre is another guy that's so inactive and I, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand it. And it's, for me... I just want to see these two fight. I think it, I think it would be great press conference. I think it'd be great build up, and I think it would be a great fight. So I just want to see these two guys get in the ring. Uh, I I think if these two fight, I think it would be massive for the sport of boxing. I generally do. I think it's a great fight. I think I think I I think either of them could potentially win the fight. It's a great fight. Make it happen. Give the fans what they want to see. Uh, we fans just want to see great fights. Just want to see great fights, and that's all we want. Uh, if we get given good fights, that's what we that's what that's what we want, um, and that would be a great fight. Honestly, that would be a great great fight because I think neither of them would want to lose to each other, and that would make it even greater. Because when it's a fight where neither of them want to lose to each other, 
you know, they, they're going to put even more into that fight. They're going to go even harder because neither of them want to get defeated to one another because it's such a rivalry. There's such beef there that neither of them are going to want to give an inch. So that's why I want to see that fight really badly because I think it could, I think it could brew into something really special. Um, and when you get fights like that, those are what makes all time great fights. Those are, those are what makes fights that, you know, we remember in 20, 30 years time. Uh, and unfortunately, let's be brutally honest, I don't think any of Andre's fights will be talking about in 20, 30 years time. And none of Charlo's fights will be talking about in 20, 30 years time. For example, I'll give you an example. A fighter that, you know, I got in the sport, Amir Khan, for example, he fought Maidana. People to this day, 10 years on, that fight happened in what, two, more than 10 years now. People still talk about Amir Khan and Maidana fight. To this day, the people still mention it. Joe Cortez actually did a... Uh, uh, he actually, I think, I don't know whether he... Wrote, he gave an interview recently. Uh, maybe, I think, a day or two ago. And he was talking about the Khan-Maidana fight and how great a fight it was. You know, people to this day still talk about that fight. Why? Because you had two great fighters go in a ring and scrap it out with each other. And, and put it all on the line. You know, Khan had a lot to prove because people were calling him chinny uh, and, and he needed to go in and prove that, you know, he can fight someone as hard a puncher as Maidana. And it and it lived it lived up to all expectations. It was a proper fight. It was a proper fight. And the fight, like I said, in 20 years time, people will be talking about Amir Khan Maidana. Why? Because it was a great fight and it was two great fighters that went in the ring and fought and fought for us fans. You know, we that fans appreciate that. They appreciate that. Even when I see clips of that fight come on YouTube or come on Facebook, the comments under the comment section, wow, what a fight, what a fight, what a great fight. You know, what can we, can we say that about any of Andre and Charlo's fights? Absolutely not. There's no, there's no fights that they've been involved in that we, that we can talk about in that way. And it's, it's sad because both of them are very good fighters. They're both very good fighters, but unfortunately, lack of like, I, I, look. I just think it's I think it's poor management. I think it's it's bad for the sport of boxing. How can you have a management of two fighters that talented? Imagine the money you could make if them two fighting each other. Imagine the money that could be generated. Them two guys going in the ring with each other. Imagine the money that can be generated. And this is why I say it's it's a loss for boxing. It's a loss for boxing because the money that can be generated with these type of fighters going in the ring, fighting each other with the beef, the animosity and fighting in their primes as well. Now, both those guys, even though I don't know if they're in their primes anymore, but both those guys are still championship level fighters. So it's still a fight that can be exploited and it's a world class level. For example, Khan and Brook, even though that was a fight that was way, way past its prime, you know, it still generated a lot of interest, even though the but the, the main thing is, is the product. The product of the Khan and Brook fight was terrible. It was rubbish fight because the product was crap. The, the entertainment prior to the fight, yeah, that was all great. The interest built up, but the fight itself was terrible because one guy was so washed up, right, that we didn't get a fight. We got, we just got beaten. But this is what happens when you get, when you get, you know, fighters that are washed up. This is what happens. And this is why I'm saying that we, right now, there's still a, a window, a small window of opportunity because Andre's 35, Charlo's probably 33. I mean, there's a small window of opportunity. When are these guys going to fight? I mean, nobody wants to see two 37, 38 rows go. I mean, the, the interest dies. Even if there's still two quality fighters, 37, 38, I mean, it's it's not interesting. And and like I, like I say that... I just feel like it's, there's a small, there's a window of opportunity now for these two to get in the ring and fight each other. It's it's a great fight, honestly. It's a great fight, and I like I said, I rate both guys. I I think both guys are are good are, are good fighters, but unfortunately, they just don't get in the ring often enough, and and that for me is a problem. That for me is a big big problem uh, in the sport of boxing that we get guys like this. That just don't seem to want to fight each other. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know. They just don't seem to. I mean, it's just it's it's disappointing. It's frustrating. I I, I keep doing these videos, and it's kind of like it irritates me. It just it generally does irritate me because I think I think it's just not good enough. It's not good enough that these fights are not ma be made. I feel like these fights should be forced. You know, but even when they're champions, the problem is with boxing that even when these guys are champions, they can avoid the fight. They can vacate. They can, I mean, they, they have no shame. I mean, 
and you yeah it just doesn't add up to me it just doesn't make sense and it's so frustrating as a boxing fan that these guys don't fight each other but yeah leave your opinions guys let me know what you think in the comment section below uh am i the only one that's frustrated or you guys frustrated as well leave your thoughts let me know what you think and i'll see you guys in the next video peace